Hello everybody and welcome to the Outside Insider on a Friday where again it's been a pretty quiet week after the roller coaster of free agency that we've seen over the month of March. We talk about Mar Ma March Madness, so there's been nothing quite as chaotic as what Howie Roseman has been trying to do. But just because things are slowing doesn't mean we will be, okay? We're going to be breaking down film on Jeremiah Trotter as well as a few other Eagles prospects. We might just sit around linebackers today, maybe some Edgerin Cooper, maybe my own draft crush, Peyton Wilson, and a couple of other guys, depending on how time goes. And obviously, if you guys have any questions or prospects you'd like me to look over, uh, then let me know in the comments as well. Isaac says hello and asked me, have I heard the Kendrick diss on Drake and J. Cole? I haven't yet. I saw the clip of Drake being very nice to J. Cole live. I've not seen... Um, yeah, I've not seen the diss track. I might listen to it tonight. I might see if it's any good. But to be fair, I mean, my... I saw Drake... Like, you know that viral clip that went out like years ago of Travis Scott like falling through the stage? I was at that concert. I was, I was at that gig. And a true story, right... I was at the front and the, the thing he fell through was like a massive hole in the ground where an inflatable globe would come up from the bottom, but it was meant to and then he broke it. But because that globe didn't come up, it apparently ruined the show and Drake refunded everyone's tickets at the venue. So I saw Drake for free. It would have cost me like 200 quid otherwise, which was cool in itself. But because this massive globe didn't come up, it meant that there was just this massive platform at the front. I would have otherwise been at the middle. So you had the stage, people... And then this long platform with the, the circle. So I was by that. So I would have been in the middle, obstructed by this massive globe. Because that didn't come up, I saw Drake for free. And he was like really close. Like really, really close. So that's all I've got on Drake. But it was it was a sick night and it was free. And this was like five years ago, maybe. Um, but that's all I got. It's completely irrelevant. But I thought it's a nice story anyway while we're bringing up Drake and, and all the rest of it. But I was never a huge fan of J. Cole. I, I, for some reason, it never sat with me. Kendrick I like. I have a lot of respect for Kendrick. Um, I think I need to give J. J. Cole another go. Like, I've tried through the years. I've listened to his features and stuff. But I, it was never... Drake was always my thing. Like, like if I was to pick a, a rap or an R&B guy, like, Drake was the one. Um, Kanye a bit. Like, I, I got more into Kanye as the years went on and I like, grew up, essentially. Um, but yeah, there you go. We, we're totally sidetracked. That took four minutes and we're totally sidetracked already. Uh, but Rare Breed kicks things off and says, if he's anything like his father, he can be the piece we need in the middle of our defense and solidify it for the future. He's not talking about Drake, by the way. He is talking about Jeremiah Trotter. A man I've been like that on. Like that. I'm like, is it just a nostalgia thing? Is it because he shares a name with Jeremiah Trotter Sr.? Like, it, it's, a, it's a weird thing. Like, do we also want Frank Gore's son because he shares a name with Eagles legend Frank Gore? Like, who, who's to say? Um, Tom says Edger and Cooper is his favourite linebacker in the class. I prefer Peyton Wilson over Cooper. I've not watched much Trotter yet. I just remember watching him like fledgingly, if that's a word, during his time at Clemson and not being overwhelmed, not being like, wow, this guy's like the next big thing. So that's what I'm here to dispel. Um, we'll get the spreadsheet made sort of on camera, sort of off. We, we can't be boring the people with spreadsheet talk. Um, but we'll have a look. We'll see what we can do. Uh, and Mark says, let's go inside the top two. That's the energy we need on a Friday night. Pumping it up. Rallying the troops is Sir Stevenson there. Absolutely love it. So without further ado, let's let's get back on to topic uh, and look at some Jeremiah Trotter film. Now, is this going to get shut down for copyright? Potentially. It's the risk we run. And if it does, we, we I don't know, start a new channel or something. I guess it's fine. Um, I'm not interested in the highlights. Because they are highlights. It's not really a broad sense of play. I think we can watch three games if we can get them. I mean, we've got two there. I'm sure we can find a third. All right, let's start with... Hmm. This one's got less views. Let's go under the radar. But the high-profile games normally contain, like, the big plays, which don't really help. So, um, <laughs> yes, we need the son of every former Eagles. To be fair, all right, the, the one... Ex exception I will say is Asante Samuel Jr. I really wanted him. Like I really, really wanted Asante Samuel Jr. Go, we couldn't have figured that out. But you know, the game's the game. Um, so let's have a look. Jeremiah Trotter. What number is he? He's 54, isn't it? Yeah, 54. All right. So it doesn't help. I miss draft breakdown. And if anyone has read the expose on draft breakdown, draft network, that stuff, woo, that was a roller coaster. Um, you know, 
I'm glad that some of the guys that initially made it and, and have gone on to do better things uh, are doing those better things because that sounds like an absolute train wreck. Okay, so it is helping with this. I was This is what I was originally getting to, was that sometimes the, the cut-ups don't include like a circle or something, but, but we do. So let's have a look. Um, can we go full screen? No. Oh, I've ruined that play now. Let's go back again. All right. So play number one. In the middle, obviously, is the Mike linebacker. Nothing too uh, notable there. Two, run play. Okay, right. Uh, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So already, we, we've we got stuff to be yapping on. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, my arrow key came off my keyboard and I'm trying to put it back on. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so, right, here we go. We've got to come back now. Oh, for God's sake, man. We have one play. All right, so does he get... That, that one's fine. It's, it's the next one I'm looking at. Or I feel like he gets a bit too drawn in. Like, realistically, if these are safeties and we're playing, what, cover two zone, I'm guessing it's cover two zone. Like, I don't know, that's like a blitz. But even if it's a blitz, he should be even more back just because there's going to be no support in the middle. So as much as the safeties are coming down, he should probably be about here. And he ends up... No, no, that's not. That's the wrong play. That's the wrong play. Wrong play. What? what have I missed another one? I have missed another one. Okay, right, this is what we're looking at. Excuse me, we're off to a flyer. Sorry, blame the arrow key. Um. Yeah, it's this one here where he just kind of gets like rope doped a bit over the middle. Um, oh, sit that right. It'd be so much easier if right here. This is all I wanted. I was watching the wrong play twice, but the, the, I've seen the same thing twice. So he comes down. Like, I don't know what he's expecting there, really. And he gives up, I think, a massive comp like that doesn't fill me with confidence. Real, like, I know he's trying to get pressure, but like he's not on the running back because the running back's there going outside. His eyes are fixed on the quarterback. And like, I don't know, what he, why is he that low? Why, why is he there? Can, can, we get, can we go in the comments? Can we have a look at this? Because um, I don't... Am I, am I missing something there? Like, is that his fault? Or am I just bugging and actually that's totally fine? Because that's too deep for me. That is way too deep. Or oh, it's not too shallow, whichever one you want to call it. But like... It's it's such an easy completion for Drake May. Like, what? I, I, there, there's no purpose of him being there. What what is the purpose of him being there? He's not blocking anything because the running backs over there and the receivers have already gone. So I don't, I don't know. Look, let me know in the comments what you think. I we'll, we'll, I'm not overly fond of that. Uh, that's that took 11 seconds, and this is why we watch tape. And not highlights because highlights are well, my god, he's so good around the ball. Because in these interceptions, he like he, in the, he got four interceptions in this four minute clip. Like, no, they're all his best plays of a year, which are probably masking a lot. Like, that just does look way too late. If he if he was two steps further back and made a jump and batted the pass away, perfect. And I think that to me is already where I'm seeing Peyton Wilson and Edger and Cooper, from what I've seen, have, have a slight edge. Um, comes downhill. Eh, uh, all right. Uh, I mean, it was nice. He wrapped himself to the ball carrier. It wasn't overly physical. It was a bit slow, a bit soft, but nothing. Okay, good, right. That was, okay. So, pass rushing there. He's got an alley to the quarterback. Speeds up. Get a, gets a hand in the air to try and knock it down. At least gets one in his face. Ball comes down. Incomplete. Probably more on the corner, if anything. But nonetheless, he, he certainly contributed to it. Um... I can't tell if he's blitzing in 36 is man coverage. Are we on about, is that the second play you're on about, Tom, where I was really confused? Because even if he's blitzing, he shouldn't be, he should be closer then. And it should be a very obvious thing. He kind of like stepped and then, or maybe he got frozen. I don't know. And that's why we do these sessions. I think this is much more infor or informative than either doing tape on your own where I could get it wrong or just watching highlights. So um, you could well be right, but either way, we can circle it in red for something we can come back to. So now he's blitzing. It sits back. Uh, okay, right, watch that again. So he's like fake blitzing, so he's going to drop back into coverage. Um, he's not really... It's fair. It's it's okay. It. I, I get... Look, we're 43 seconds in. I don't want to be speak too quickly. I will make the assessment a bit later on. But 
I just feel like he's one of them where he's just constantly around the ball without really doing much. And that's, I'm hoping I'm wrong and I can change my mind. Um, yeah, all right. Tom's, yeah, okay. We, yeah, I guess that's the thing is like we don't know and we're just kind of guessing. But we all, I think what we can see is like if, if we can get a trend and if the trend then continues and if this happens again and again, it's like, all right, well, maybe it's not a one play thing. So, so that's where we'll go. Um, Timor's come here for some content and some high quality yapping. Neither of those you will find here, I'm afraid. I hate to let you down, but alas, we move. Um, so here we go again, now near the goal line. Oh dear, okay. Well, in fairness, he's coming up against the tackle. I'm not really sure what I'm expecting, but the tackle... Oh, it's a guard, sorry. It's even worse, okay. Um... The guard... Right, the guard has had to come off a block and still... Oh man, his feet are off the floor. Okay. I don't think that's on him. I don't think many linebackers are going to be able to ball rush past a guard, but he did get flattened. So it's it's not ideal. But it's not also his fault. It's just it's neither a positive nor a negative. Um middle of the field here. Trying to uh, that he didn't want really to do much there. See, that's a bit better. Because now, like, obviously, you've got help there. You've got help there. You can just sit in that space. But uh, looking at the eyes, you know where Drake May's looking. Anyone, and, and you've got eyes on him, and you know he's going top right. Does he move? No. Um, I. I th we're look. We're a few plays into the first quarter. He j he just lacks a little bit of instinct I think you definitely yap a lot don't sell yourself short it's the only thing I can do but we do it in bunches uh what's up Matt uh you're getting behind the name hype I I mean I'm I'm trying to put it down to be honest because I don't see anything remarkably great and I, I hope I'm wrong that's what I'm trying to look for but look we've got to start these scout sessions somewhere and me saying breaking down the tape of John McGee a ninth round running back who doesn't exist just ain't, ain't gonna cut it for the boys so we need to we need to start high and then work our way down um let's have a look playing against the run he's very patient against the run there's almost a bit of a I don't know whether it's an unwillingness to get involved or I I don't know um he every step just seems a bit worried like it's like he's sort of half Patient, oh, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Ah, oh, bollocks. Like, obviously, that one was fine. Like, nothing really happened, and he's played it well. But look, realistically, look, 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 look. Eyes. You're watching the eyes of a quarterback, and you're watching that. Now, are you blitzing? No, you're just jogging towards him. So I don't think we can put it down to blitzing. So that's the second time in two minutes of football playing time that we've seen this, where he, he like, Look, I would not be surprised. I I've not seen this game. If UNC just all game over here, over the middle, like, all right, that's fair enough, miss. Sorry, all right, I don't know why I went over there. But you get what I'm saying. There's a lot of opportunity there. Just watch him here. All right, so that's a bit different. You know, trying to come around the outside, potentially keep an eye on the running back, realizes he gets outside, works back in. That's fine. Okay. Our amber grade we've got on that one. Nothing too fruity. Um, what have we got here? Is that run again? Yeah. A bit better. There was a bit more intent behind that one to actually shed a block and make a tackle, which we haven't seen yet. Um, but, but we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, everything just seems a bit whimsical. Like a little bit... He, like he doesn't want to engage almost, which is fine because I get there he is playing cleanup, but what have we got here? So he's blitzing... Like why? Why is he turning left? I, I hate the screen keeps changing, but I don't know. I need to use spacebar instead. Um, so like here, realistically, he's going to meet a running back in pass protection. Get past him. You've you've got a clear line to the quarterback. Ends up having to jump outside because of the block, and instead of turning that way, like number seventeen's going, just ends up. Why is he? Why is he facing there? Why is he facing there? I, why is Madden playing right guard for UNC? Like, nah, I, I'm not seeing it. Great play, great throw. Um, see if on the all 22 view. Great speed to start. And I don't know why he turns back up to engage in that. I really don't know. 
Maybe I'm rusty. I haven't broken down film properly in a long time. Maybe I'm missing something. Um, yeah, I, I would 100% agree that wh whether it's patience in trying to not make an error or whatever it is, I, I don't know. The, uh, either says the guard kind of grabbed him there, which, which could also be fair enough. The most damning statement I could give a linebacker is if I could see the Niners drafting this guy, even if linebacker was a need. So I don't know if he's that good. I could never see. Oh, I see what you say. If you could never, you could never see the Niners drafting him. Yeah, I, just, I don't know, man. Like I'm seeing people saying second round on him, and I'm seeing fourth at the minute, fourth, fifth. But okay, that's better. That's that's better. He's not. He's not here. I like that's a bit better. Okay. Um. Yeah. Not much more you can do there. That's the best like rep I've seen from him. To be honest. Okay. Nothing really wrong there. I'm guessing he was blitzing. Or it seems it's a run or something. Yeah, it's not much he can do. Great play design. Just sort of, I told you, I'm just milking the middle of the field. Um, not much he can do there. Fine, next one. Oh, God, this ain't looking good for Clemson, is it? Um, that's better. So he scraped that quite well. You can see him here, like he's diagnosing the run there. That's smart. Bounces off a block and then just helps his teammate wrap it up. Like that's that's solid. Can't can't be mad at that. Um, covers a shallow well there. Again, nothing too problematic, which is what you'd expect out of a second round pick, apparently. But some people are saying, um, even there, like I don't know where he's going. Like oh jog 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 jog. Oh no, I'm gonna go this way now. Okay. Oh back over here. Like. But it'll probably get plaudits for that for making the play on the ball. So like, I don't, I I don't know if it is just me being very very cynical. Like a lot of the time, I just don't think he should be down there. Maybe it's Clemson's defense and that they like him near the line of scrimmage. Like he's recovered well, good sideline speed to work back. Like if you probably see it better from this view, keeps his eyes on the quarterback, able to get away from an emerging block, keeps his head up, works back. Shouldn't have been down there in the first place, but he recovered, in my opinion. And I'm wondering just what other people are seeing here. Sold on Peyton Wilson. That's my man. Uh, I believe you had the Eagles taking him. Yes, I did. Yeah, see? Matty knows ball. Matthew knows ball. That is why these streams happen. Um, also, if you are on YouTube watching this, if you could leave a like, it would be absolutely massive. Purely because there's a we're, we're risking this channel getting shut down showing this stuff. So I would like to, you know... Milk it a little bit. Let's at least get the numbers up before it implodes, yeah? Um, maybe you have had better linebackers to let him develop. That's the thing, Timor. If you, like, realistically, if the Eagles had a solid veteran linebacker core of like two, three guys, like Devin White isn't it. N'Kobe Dean isn't it. Um, Oren Burks isn't it. And the one guy they did sign that I like from the Saints is just going to be rotational or special teams. So like, unless he is going to be like developmental purely on special teams for a couple of years. I, I can't see this being the pick, but we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Um, yeah, we, we've got, I, I agree with Tom now. It was a good recovery on the scamble and he could be playing spy. Yeah. But even then though, I think you compromise too much. I think he's compromising too much on those looks, but it could be, could just be me. Um, you'll always get a like from me. I love that. I owe you a handshake and a high five and a cuddle sometime. What a man. Uh, Greg, nice to see you, Matt. Looks like he's spending most of his time spying. Maybe that's it. Yeah, maybe it is spying then. But, I mean, yeah, his eyes are fixed on him quite a lot. Yeah. I mean, maybe it is. I didn't have Drake May as the second coming of Lamar Jackson that would warrant a constant spy, but maybe that's an error of judgment on, on my part again. Like, yeah. Maybe we'll watch another one then. All right, well, we'll keep going on here. We'll get to half time and then maybe we'll, we'll chop somewhere else and See what we can learn from another team. Nothing overly wrong with that. He pressed the line quite well. And or was, I mean, he did give up a touchdown. Yeah, he's on the other side. It's not his fault. Um, okay, I'll miss to play it. Yeah, there's maybe it is. Maybe it is playing spy. But I don't. Has Drake May done anything in this game to warrant being spied on outside of one broken play scramble? Like. He might be a spy for this game. It's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let, let, okay, let's go to another game. Because I think we've all agreed this is a bit weird. So he's either... Oh, it's me. Look at that. What well on, boys. 
Um, let's try Duke, the hatchet man. All right, okay, let's let's try this. Because, look, we, we know what he can do. Let's see him not... That's better. Right, uh, okay. I mean, it was better until that happened. But that's not really his responsibility. He kind of got walked back a little bit there. When you, you've got a three safety, or well, whether it's two corners and a two safeties, or a corner and two safeties, whatever it is, you've got a back shell of three. So you don't need to be like, like, look how much deeper he is compared to, to these guys. And as much as he is like, it's, it's subtle. It's not a lot, but it's a bad angle as well on the way down. But it, it just looks like maybe, he's, I don't mind it because you are taking five out of it. But if we watch this again and just watch number five, like, the ball's not going there anyway because you've got one, two, three without Trotter. So, even there, you've still got two guys back here and a third to cut across. I think, to me, he should be a bit further down. Um, again, I could be being cynical. This is the bit he... Oh, I've got to stop clicking and just use the arrows. Apologies. That The angle's the bit that worries me more, though. Um, it's like here, one-on-one. -on -one, Sets his feet, changes direction. You can see, I can see the running back is going right. And he just kind of gets stuck in the dirt a little bit. So, keep an eye. But I'm not... Ooh, that was a, I might, okay, that was a bit of urgency. And then he gets washed completely. So, great jump on the snap. Look at the leverage he's got compared to everyone else. Um, tries to engage with a tackle. There's not much he can really do there. Um, great jump, though. That's that's a good bit of instinct. I don't mind it. Right at the goal line. He looks like he's got a wagon on a completely unrelated note. Okay, a, a bit of physicality there. I haven't actually seen that from him yet. That was quite nice. Like, is it just me? Or like, that just looks like an absolute wagon going on back there. Uh, I I hope he does. I, I hope he does turn heads in training camp. I was very impressed with what I saw. Um, like, on, on the Saints stuff we broke down, I was very impressed with him. So... We'll see. Trot going to be a cowboy. At this rate, I hope so. Uh, is, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, uh, in college, you put your best athlete in spy coverage. Okay. Is he that athletic? i have not. Let's try his grass. Was he athletically stunning or not? I can't even spell the word Jeremiah. I don't even know what I've spelt there. Uh, Trotter Junior Rass. That must be a rascal by now. I guess he hasn't done pro days yet, so he's not really going to work, is it? Um, I'm just having a look to see if there has been anything that's come through. Was he? Was he good? Athletically? Only Liam during film sessions can commentate on someone's wagon. Look, the, the game's the game. I can't help it. I Look, he's packing heat down there. there he's a big wagon. Um, he's so far, he seems undersized. Can't shed blocks since Mary Coverage. I like Cooper more. Okay. I think Cooper seems to be the one that a lot of people are veering towards. Like, uh, that wasn't bad. This wasn't bad. When we stopped looking at his wagon. Man, so that's nice. You can't do more than that in the red zone. That was nice. Uh, now we're seeing him. Little spin move. Prime Derek Barnett there. Again, to no avail. But see, look. Telling me he hasn't got a wagon. Look at the size of the thing. Be going to wrap it out in a Drake song soon. That's unbelievable. Uh, nice play there. I, I can't seriously go from that to nice play there. Oh dear! At the line of scrimmage, is he gonna? I'm guessing he's gonna drop back. No. Nope. <laughs> that was good. Takes on the running back, kind of upends him a bit. Yeah, uh, it's okay. Got to his shoulders, but oh, I was gonna say, if you completed that, would have been a great play. Uh, met with a block, gets off it. That was us. Uh, um, I wasn't able to get hold of him, was he? It's not, it's not the end of the world. He made contact to slow him down, at least. It, I've seen worse. I've seen worse. Um, I, I think what has happened is I've been suckered into everyone saying this guy is the second coming of Jeremiah Trotter. And um, I've almost been like, yeah, sure, he's great. And I, I'm not seeing much. See, that, that's kind of another one where he ends up just roll up. Like, like you can, you know, that is clearly a screen from that. I know it's a split second decision, but if we're talking agility 
and being an athlete. Um, I don't know that, that, that really. That's what we're talking about. She gets turn around, runs all jogs all the way back up the field. Yeah, great. Um, well, that sold me. Um, this is a block there. Nice. <laughs> Bounces off the tackle. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is this isn't encouraging tape, is it? For me. Like, this is two games now where I'm not ended up massively impressed. Oh, good effort. Love that from the corner. I don't know where he was then. Still don't know where he is. Where the hell is he? Where is he? Is he about there? He must be. Yeah, I think he's dropping deep. Oh, okay. Flew in quite... He's, he's happy to fly into an open field tackle, but as soon as there's a little bit of, you know, traffic in the pocket... There ain't much going on. He can work, he can make up for errors and he's quick enough to travel laterally to get involved with stuff. But it's like, like for him, it just feels like he's going to be around the ball a lot without actually doing much. Like there. Like he's around the ball, the player gets dead, it'll come up fist pumping or something, probably well, he doesn't. But like, the camera would hit him because of who he is and the reputation he has. And he'd be, oh yeah, great play. And he hasn't really done much. I've I've not I've not seen one good play yet. Like one genuinely good play that I've seen. Um let let's have a look. Uh oh, it's not my nerve. Gonna be the Carl Lowry of the NFL with that dumpy. <laughs> All right, well look, that's that's where we can take this um this evaluation. I think you're onto something with the lack of instinct. I I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, he's quick. I think effort and potentially instincts are lacking. Um, this is how I imagine Daniel Jeremiah Jet grinds tape on his own, talking to himself about the arses of linebackers. You're not wrong. I, you're probably not wrong. Um, as an up, I hope you draft this guy in round two. Christ, I hope not. But look, all I'm saying is, I guarantee if you watch Peyton Wilson tape, it's very easy to see what he's good at. Like, off of what we've seen here, Another missed tackle. Can you tell me what Jeremiah Trotter is good at other than, yeah, he's athletic and he shares a name with his dad? Because his instincts are shit. Um, he he kind of jogs around a bit. He ends up around the ball very half-heartedly. I, I don't know. Like, I don't think there's much to... He can take on running backs that are smaller than him and run around in open space. And point at a player. He's done that there. That's good. <laughs> um, we'll keep going. I do want to see if this improves because I'm just not seeing much to really like change my heart on him or like to make me. I'm not going to go pounding the table and adding him in every mock draft. Put it that way. Nice little step around the outside there. That was good. Okay, that was better. Like seeing him in pass rush situations seems to be. Unironically, one of his better assets because that's where his athleticism can shine. So the fact that he isn't overwhelmingly positive in coverage to me off the bat, like every good thing we've said was that one player where he leapt off the snap and unfortunately got washed out, um, and plays where he's come off the edge to generate pressure or met a running back in the backfield. Like there hasn't been a lot of pass coverage. And what the Eagles desperately need in this system is a pass coverage linebacker. So here, uh, nice little start a step outside. It's that's solid. Like you can't ask for much more than that. But oh, it wasn't even him. It wasn't it? I wasn't even him. Oh, yeah, it was. No, it was. Okay, Trotter's gone the other way. They've stayed on Parker. I was gonna say. Even I'm being hypnotized now. Yeah, no, I don't mind it. I definitely ain't spending a second round pick on him though. Not at the minute. Yeah, that's him. Can we get another play, please? Here we go. Right, fifty falls there. You can notice him by the massive wagon. Nothing. Doesn't really do much. Fair enough. Again, same sort of move, but he gets met by two blocks instead of one. So obviously Duke could learn from their previous experience. Not bad to get off the block. 
And then the athleticism to close on the... So it's like he tries when he... Not when he wants to, but there's like an extra gear he taps into at least. I think if he played at that gear all the time, A, he might be knackered, but B... Um, was that a forced fumble for him? 54. Oh, I've done the click. Let's check your comments quickly a sec as well. Um, Junior looks like he's more out of place and more times than not in it. Uh, gap integrity. Th this boy went to the Orenberg School of Knowing How to Miss a Tackle. Um, I, look... I'm not overwhelmingly impressed. Uh, did he force that fumble? We're putting VAR on it. Going up to the booth. Jumped over. Yeah, I'd say so. That's a good play. That's what I mean. But he's like, he plays. He's a, he reminds me of a Jack Russell. He reminds me of a Jack Russell. Where he yaps a lot. There's not physically yapping, but like Jack Russell's yap a lot when there's big dogs around them, when they know they've got family or they've got other dogs that are going to protect them. And as soon as they're on their own, they just whimper around. Not really, oh, I don't want any of that. And that's kind of, for me, what this feels like. That when the play counts and when he's got backup, he'll go all in and he'll fly around. And as soon as he's left in coverage, it's, oh, oh I don't know. Oh, my instincts are a bit shit. So, yeah, I'm not. It's a, that was a good play. But again, it's like, it just feels like whenever he fancies it. I'm not sure what he's, okay, he's here on. That one. So he's coming down. Takes a running back out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. End up near the ball. Bit better. So let's keep an eye on him on this. I stay on the quarterback. Turns and runs upfield. Try to circumnavigate a block and then starts jogging. Okay, it's not, I'm not expecting to sprint at him, but I mean, effort is something that is certainly coming up. But that wasn't bad until he left the open hole. That So he comes down. Right? Oh, it's on the running back. There's the, he closes the outside lane. Very nice. Uh, unfortunately, he just gets met. That's a hell of a block. I don't think that's as much on here. That is a, it's a hell of a block, but he does get upended by a wide receiver. Uh, and that obviously isn't ideal. So 20% on him, not really his fault. Did most of the right things. Um, if it was as a second gear, he doesn't want it. Yeah, 100%. He just, it, it's like he coasts until. It's sort of like, uh, I'm trying to give a good example, but you, you know, you see, he's like, have you ever watched Lionel Messi play for Inter Miami, where he just walks around the pitch for like half an hour doing absolutely nothing, and then will just kick into life out of nowhere, have five seconds of brilliance, win the team, the match, and everyone loves him. It's kind of where I liken to Trotter in that like, he's got it there. I just don't know where it is. Um, we definitely will. All right. Well, I think, yeah, I think we've seen enough of try. Let, let's go to Peyton Wilson for comparison because our, he, for me, is the best linebacker in this draft. And I don't think it's close. Now, obviously, you can't compare apples and oranges. We know that, realistically, there are differences in scheme and, and that sort of thing. But uh, do, do we get a little... Yes, we do. The, the other thing is, obviously, like the, the opponent level drops like uh, playing wake forest isn't the same like we have to understand that so now he's over the middle instead of outside still trying to get him to to seal that edge on the right uh now do you actually see him he's, he's consistently being used as a, a blitzer here you and the nc state uniforms look absolutely dire has to be said that was a nice sack all right so he's off the other edge he's versus already we see him versatile lined up all over the place and he's quite quick like, instantly. Comes off a block there, wraps back around. He's just a bit more willing. Like, instantly, within two plays. Look, look, hustle, hustle. Bang, there you go. Bang, that's what we want out of a linebacker. Hit him. Bring him down. Bang, there you go. That's all I want. Eyes on the quarterback. Pass comes out. All right, he's up there. I can't keep running that way. I've got to come upfield. Bang. I didn't see Trot Trotter do that one time. One time. Wilson tore his ACL sneezing. Oh, dear. I haven't seen him play before. This leaves a lot to be desired. Exactly. He, there, there just isn't enough there on Jeremiah Trotter for me to be blown away and thinking, this is a guy worth spending a third round pick. Wilson, from, I would not be shocked from what I've seen of Peyton Wilson if he's a first round pick. If someone goes, he, he's going to slip too much. He, he's going to, sorry, he's going to go too quick. If we're in the second wait and he's going to go, we have no chance of getting him at like pick 58, 59. Look, that was nice. Little shimmy stays up, stays active. But I think that's the difference of even there, right? 
of like if whether whether this isn't like a an actual spy role or not, but the way he plays it, right? So he's coming off the edge, gets out of the way of the receiver, and now can just sit back and look at the depth already, right? It's not a lot. Oh, I've done the click thing again. But but he's already back enough where if he comes works up field, he's in a position to make a play, right? Tries to get a little bit of pressure on, that frees up the teammates, and, and that's a good play. He's not like into his line mate's ass. Do you know what I mean? It's just a bit more awareness to everything. Even here, like floats outside. We're now seeing him play very upfield, right? We we and this is again no fault to Jeremiah Trotter because he wasn't asked to do this. But look at the way that Pil Pilton. We'll call we'll call him Pilton because Peyton Wilson and all that. So he's lined up off the edge and he's just going to drop back and he's going to sit. In that soft zone there, okay, just to try and contain the running back. He knows the receiver's broken in. So now, he, realistically, that's the danger area. He's keeping an eye on the quarterback size. The quarterback's not interested. Now he's turning. Doesn't over... It's, it's a good play. Like, it's just solid. There's nothing good or bad, but it's not like, ooh, ah, what are we, what are we doing here? There's a bit more just composure in... Like, he's constantly on his toes. And not just jogging about. Like, he's good hip fluidity there. That quick little turn. I didn't see Jeremiah flip his hips once outside of when he got turned around and looked like me in a golf swing. Good hustle. Look, even hustle there to get the hand up. That was nice. Right? Mauled by a tackle. Kind of set, lets his teammate go up. It just reaches up, makes a play. He's made more plays in, what, a quarter and a half than I've seen from two games of Jeremiah Trotter. In coverage, gets the hand. Look out the depth, 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 depth. Johnny depth, Johnny depth. Right. Look at it. Look. He comes down to take the running back out. Running back ain't coming. His eyes are up. Looking at the safeties. What are the safeties doing? Do I need to get back? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I'll stay here and get a hand up. That's all we need. It's all we need. I don't care. Like that to me is so much better. So much better. This is a proper linebacker. Exactly, Tommy. It is. His wagon. See, the only thing he lacks is a wagon. And I wonder if that's why Trotter looks a bit slower. You have to... NFL evaluators need to bear this in mind, okay? That they just do. I don't make the rules. The injuries worry me, but I like Wilson. Yeah. Um, uh, but I think that's... It's, it's one of them, isn't it? Where... Oh, it, it depends. Like, I think that the Eagles have put so much stock into their like medical program recently. Like you don't see many injuries happening in Philadelphia. Even their training camp schedule is like insanely light now. Um, but it's the same thing with like, um, I'm trying to get, uh, I was going to say Devontae Smith, but it's just not the same, is it? Like there, there are injury concerns there. They're totally valid. Um, I think a lot of it just comes down to wear and tear. A lot of it's going to be how he's used. But I would much rather an injury risk on a player like this than no injury risk in four years of, player that doesn't offer me much in the way of developmental upside, which is what I'm seeing in Jeremiah Trotter. Comes to the line, bounces back, nothing bad, nothing great. Oh, he dropped it. What a bum. Okay, that, that, was, that wasn't great. Let's watch that again. Against the run. Can't really... He gets pushed out the way. Yeah, it's... I don't know. It's against the lineman. You can't ask... You're not expecting miracles there. Are you just someone to mildly set the edge? And he's not a defensive end, so... His strength is a little bit of a weakness. I think we can agree that. Like, he's not as strong as Jeremiah Trotter. But... He's definitely more athletic. He's definitely more instinctive. He's definitely more willing. Like, he's, he's going to get... Like, look at the fight! There. Look at that! Look at that! Sorry. Look at the state of this. I, I didn't even know this was coming, right? It gets into 52. The running back, for, for some reason, goes, ah, oh, bollocks, well, I'm just going to run this way. Wilson, who's been moved, physically moved, goes, absolutely not. Gets out the way. Get, look, at, look at his little left hand look. Wrap round him. Come here, he says. Come to daddy. Get in there. Drags him down. That's all Peyton Wilson. That is all Peyton Wilson. Is Wake Forest. <laughs> True. True. All right. Let's let's see if we can get some uh, some new tape. Is there? I mean, are you a better team? Is there a a better team to look at? Uh, that's Peyton Manning. I hate the new YouTube 
search algorithm, right? Stop showing you fucking Luke, excuse me, Luke Keekley. I didn't search for Luke Keekley. I searched for Peyton Wilson. The only one I've got is is UConn, which I know isn't much of an upgrade. So so there are going to be concerns with he hasn't played talent as elite as someone like Trotter or even Cooper to that regard. Um, not so much a, a small school sleeper or like a Carson Wentz level NDSU guy, but you know, th- there are certainly concerns there. But if you can act like and play like this, where you look a level above, it's just how high, but like how high above is that level? Even there, like it worked around quite nicely back to the ball. Um, we will we'll do this and then we'll take a look at Edger and Cooper because I think that these three are definitely the benchmark at the position. Absolutely are. He tore through the whole line there. That was cool. Hustle, 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 hustle. Look, banged off, gone. Turns around, running back there. Traffic, big meaty man in his face. Don't worry about it. Big meaty man in his willy. Don't worry about it. Get on the floor, give him to me. That's a proper linebacker, as Tommy says. That's what you want. None of these Jeremiah Trotter bollocks. I, would, I don't care if the talent level's less. I'd much rather know that the upside is there and that he is produced at the level he has than anything else. Because this is outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Even there, works back to the... He's the guy that brings him down. He's, he's not even on that side of the field, man. Look, starts on the middle. He's, he's playing it, he's playing it. He's here. He's here. The ball carrier's there. Bollocks. Look how much room he's going to work up. Still finds a way. Much more impressed here than I am with, with Jeremiah Trotter. Turns up field, makes a tackle. Watch him. Number 11, off the edge. Turns up field. Easy. The, the effort is just different. Mainly because there is some. But it's, it's so visible. So, yeah, of the two, it, it's, it's night and day for me. He, he still ends up making contact with the ball carrier. It's not a lot. But even when he's being washed out, washed out, gets a hand on the ball, nonetheless, as well. The instincts there are different. The athleticism might be the same. He does lack some power. Can I just really quickly, before, I think we've seen enough of Peyton Wilson to know, ah, oh, okay, this is what we actually need in a, in a linebacker. Um... Look up Cedric Van Pan, Van Pran from Georgia. All right, I'll, I'll add him to my list. Um, Lee needs an OnlyFans of future film room sessions. Look, if the people want to pay, the people want to pay. All right. Only concern for me uh, would be, isn't this guy 24? I don't care if he's 43, Thomas, at this point. He's fantastic. Get him in. I'm 28. I'm better than Jeremiah Trotter Jr. No. Right, let me open my... Look, I know we all hate Liam's spreadsheets, okay? But Liam has to make one so I can keep a track of uh, prospects to, to note. And we'll go through them one by one. Is this what I was looking at the other day? What is this? What have I done here? I've just got... A, I, I, I'm sharing a... Right, well, sheet one can be prospects. What's he called? Van Pran. Uh, and he's a C from Georgia. And now we're going to have a tab for linebackers. I didn't make that spreadsheet in the end. This is our linebacker page, right? I mean, it's going to do this very, very quickly. So you all know we can keep, we can build this out together. All right. So player, and we've got to grade them each one out of 50, right? So we want what? Instincts we value. Uh, we want uh, tackling, like just security and angles. Athleticism is four. That's three, sorry. What else do you want in a linebacker? Coverage um, and effort probably, I'd say. So, if we're going to put on Jeremiah Trotter, instincts, six, are we going out of ten? Six. Tackling, six. Athleticism, eight. Coverage, six. Effort, six. If I'm being honest, um, I need to do an equal sum on that. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, cool, nice. Uh, and then if we go to Peyton Wilson, we go instincts eight tackling eight athleticism or about an eight coverage seven point five not overly amazing not terrible effort eight uh, can we just drag that formula down I don't know how to do that 
Yes, we can. 39.5, our new highest graded linebacker of the Liam Jenkins draft spreadsheet bonanza. The tracker is beyond Hernandez. Look, look, I'm going to make it look pretty. Give me time. Give me time. All right. I'm all about Wilson. All right. Let's give, let's give Edger and Cooper a run then. Uh, format in this. Look, I don't, I love spreadsheets. I just can't format for shit. I just make, I've got spreadsheets for everything. If I'm going to make a shopping list, it'll be a spreadsheet. But let's, let's get back on and go to Edger and Cooper. Let's get a third one on it. Because so far, we've got a clear winner. So 39.5 is the film to beat. The film, the typing film. Tape to beat. Texas a &M. Look, I've got a soft spot for AM players just because I, I like the team. So I like Cooper already. Here we go. Edger and Cooper. There's already a bit of ar -ar -ar in there. Do you see that? Even the way he walks off. Let's just, look, it's the little things. All right? Hands in the air like you just don't care, he says. Ar -ar -ar, get off. Ar -ar -ar, fighting, fighting. Walks up, aggressive. Against Auburn. Big game. Drops back into coverage. Nice. Click and close, baby! We got a click and closer! I love that. Look, give me that. Slide to the left. Bang! Come downhill. Oh, I, I don't know what the tackle was. Uh, level with you. I think he flew so much downhill. Uh, okay, he got blocked. He got blocked. He got shoved outside. Still, did the job. Already. Let's see? Just even the way he stands with his eyes up. Jeremiah Trotter is just walking about, eyes around, not arsed. Like, and then he runs down. Gets Is that actually to him, that pressure? Bends the edge. I don't think it is, but I mean, nonetheless, it's not the end of the world. It's quite a good play. Um, look, drops back. Eyes, 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 eyes. Not bad. Not bad. Physical. Puts his head down. I mean, we don't want that nowadays, but puts his head down. Pad level is a uh, politically correct term. And he just looks like a big boy. Uh, sure, there's a lack of dump truck if we compare him to Jeremiah Trotter, but he just does look like a big boy. Um, I might actually... Oh, okay. Uh, gets absolutely twatted there. But, you know, I might make a cut up of this and just put the three linebackers against each other and put it on YouTube as like a full video. Because I know we're obviously like... This is a lot to put, you know, like in one hour. So I can cut it up into like a few three or four minute segments as a YouTube video. And you guys would like that. And then I can start uploading on the channel that way. Let me know. Uh, I'm happy to do that. And may maybe we start doing these sessions more regularly. Or we can do it during the day, perhaps, or something like that. Because I think this could be valuable for sure. Um, it's just in terms of getting the content up, which is the issue. But, you know, don't want to get copyrighted. Even there, look. It's it's just different, man. Like, like I don't see how Jeremiah Trotter is in the same conversation as Edgerin Cooper or Peyton Wilson. I do not see it. I really don't see it. And, and if I'm missing something, and there's a Jeremiah Trotter Jr. truther somewhere, look, on my first mock draft had the Eagles taking Trotter because I wanted to do some fan service. And look, I was mistaken. I apologize. That was incredibly wrong of me, and I'll never commit such a felony again. Even here. Gets off his block as a wide receiver. The ball comes out. Nope. Thank you. Down he goes. Nice play. He, he's a playmaker. It's simple. It's simple. What you get drops back. Jeremiah Trotter. Look, because look where the ball's going. In the air over him. So he makes it harder. That's what you want out of a linebacker. Look. Drop, 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 drop. Hold the line. You're trying to stay on the line of where that ball's going to go. Perfect. See, even that, look at that, that, that. Ugh, it's good. It's good. And it makes, it's what tr Trotter should be doing. And it pisses me off. Look, look at the hip, hip angle. Pointing at the players he's looking at. He's not stood there looking that way, right? He's looking at the players, knowing you've got a bit of a, a snippy set here where they're going to try and dice up the defenders. Gets caught a bit outside, but comes back around over the top, and he's going to make a play if the ball gets thrown there. All you could want. Big get off. Unlucky. Ends up round the ball anyway. You're not even in that play. I don't know why I'm watching it, but fair enough. <laughs> Do 
gets off. Like, oh, Chase, go on, get, get, get out of the way, number two, you dickhead. <laughs> That's the fucking thing of his watch. He gets stuck behind his own teammate. There's not much more you can do. He gets off a lineman, turns up field, and gets stuck behind this bozo. Move! <laughs> get out of the way! <laughs> Let me tackle him. He's got a high... That's what you mean. Did he have a little slip there? A little slippery slip. Did I miss that? Uh, oh, he got caught by the running back. Uh, okay, maybe. I don't know. Either way, this is what you want when you see like a high motor linebacker. Like him and Wilson just do embody that. Um, I'm also going to really quickly add a banner that just says suggest players because uh, I want you to. Uh, to... Suggest players for future scout sessions in the comments. So I can add to my tracker. Scroll. Scroll now. There we go. Nice. Get that in. Lovely. Um, these guys are different leagues, says Mark. I agree. I don't think Cooper has the awareness Wilson has. Uh, it's not, there's not much in it. I don't think there's much in it, to be honest with you. Uh, I just thought it a, a fajita. I love that, Desert Fox. What a man. What a man. That is brilliant. Don't ever listen to us. Um, from what I can see, Cooper looks the best. Uh, then Wilson looks good, but I don't know. Maybe he should go late second. Trot let the Raiders wait to second him or something. Um, I would say... I don't, I don't know. I think it's closer between Cooper and Wilson, to be honest. Um, I would probably verge Cooper... Based off the injury concerns, like, and that that would be the deciding factor. Is that like if durability is the thing, you're talking about a player that like isn't gonna like bring any red flags to the table. Cooper just does feel a bit more. The thing is with Wilson is that he lacks strength. Can we make one more column for strength? Uh, I think we should on our chart. Um, sorry for the format, Tommy. You're gonna kill me. We need one more for strength because Wilson does lack it, and it's important. Like play strength is important. Um, so Jeremiah Trotter was like an eight. He's pretty. He's a big beefy boy. He's got a wagon. Maybe even eight point five. Just shit. Uh, Peyton Wilson's probably like a six. Really. Um, and if we're gonna put Edger and Cooper in here, uh, I would say instincts are probably the same as Wilson. Tackling just as good. Athleticism. I don't think he's as athletic. I'm gonna put him as a seven. Coverage is, I'd say, better. The effort is better, and his strength is. Better as well. Well, that's our new leader. There you go. That's how this works. So we go equal sum. We do a bit of this. And then we drag that down. And these are your new scores. So big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big difference. And there's only a point. And this is where my rankings come into it. Because if there's a point and a half difference for me between Wilson and Cooper. And Cooper's going pick 34. And Wilson's going pick 58. It's, it's Wilson all day. So I think there's an element of value that that would come into it for sure. Um, all right, Ricky Purcell, what, what does he play? Add him to the list now. Uh, Ricky, I just realized I wasn't sharing this screen with you. Sorry, you can see the updated numbers here. I've done it again. There you are. Look at that. Uh, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky Purcell. Is he a wide receiver? I've heard of him. Uh, I'm not sure where he's from. He's from uh, Florida. I've spelt the name wrong. I apologize, but you, you get what I mean. Um, let's have a look. Who was the other one? Uh, Jack and Hagar. Nice to see you, my friend. Have I enjoyed Quinion's tape yet? No, I haven't. Oh, well, is that Quinion Williams? If it's not, that's awkward. I'm going to pretend I know what I want about and put him in. Quinion William. There he is. Uh, Willie Armour. Even better. Let's leave him there. So, that's as measuring and Cooper. I'll make sure I am sharing the tab now. We'll, we'll try and finish, like, a, a bit more and see if we know it's anything else. But, so, we need to watch the second game because... Look, 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 look at the depth, man. Like, it's night and day. It is night and day over what we saw with um, with Jeremiah Trotter. Like, the difference couldn't be greater. Oh, swerves on the tackle a bit there, but nothing to be overly concerned about. That was nice. Okay, yeah, go on. Oh, we might have to dock some tackling points here. We might have to dock some tackling points because that's two that haven't looked great. Uh, let's see. Let's keep keep watching. We'll watch a second. We can always alter our scores. We'll watch a second game or half a game after this. We're almost at an hour already. I haven't done anything. 
this is I I will start doing longer ones. I can't really tonight. I'll do a little bit of a I'll, I'll have a little bit of an overrun. Um, but we've done three players, I guess. We can do like three players a stream. We'll have the whole class done by next week. I mean, there's nothing overly concerning. Nothing strikes out as like a red flag. Oh, lost it a bit. Get up, get up. Oh, no, bless him. Oh, that sucks. He tried. I think he tried a bit too hard. Falls down, keeps trying to run. I can't fault the F. Whoa, hang on. Man's got putting a spit. Who's this? Oh, I missed that. Never mind. I missed him being put in an absolute spin cycle. So now we're, this is the furthest we've watched into tape because it is a pleasant viewing experience. Depth, depth, depth. Look at that. He just stays there. It's so refreshing. Ah, oh, it's like a cold beer on a summer's day watching Edger and Cooper. A cold beer just hitting you. Mm, ah, lovely. All right, let's watch a second game. Uh, we'll quickly have a look at your comments. How, how are we doing in here, boys? Um, Quinion, Quinion Mitchell. Where did I get Quinion Williams from? I don't know where I got Quinion Williams from. Whoopsie. Uh, Quinion Mitchell was in. Um, do, 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 wide receiver, slot, cornerback. Glad Aaron Moorhead went uh, a Nia Smith pro day. Let's add him in. Let's add him in. Let's, let's add him. See, I'm, I'm a big a &M guy. I do like Texas a &M players. Um, I, I just am. Uh, Shania Twain is in. All right, this is this is our list of players to watch and the ones that we have on linebacker so far. So we've got three in. I might, I am tempted to dock a point for tackling if this proceeds. We will try and watch one more. Is there one more play? That's 2021. We can't really do that. We need a bit. Is there only really one film? Well, we're kind of stuck with what we've got otherwise. But okay, I mean that that's frustrating. Should we just watch the highlights because he's good? Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, we can do that. I don't care. <laughs> Not bothered. It has to be done. Um, probably thinking of Quinn and that would be it. That would be it. I apologize. My bad. My ball knowledge isn't isn't exceptional, but that's that, that's why I like these sessions because I feel like even something when I was critiquing Trotter quite heavily, Tom's there grounding me going, no, no, he could be spying. And then we had a moment of reflection and we waited and then we just found out he was ultimately shit. But you know, we need to give ourselves that chance to, to learn and understand and we all see the game differently. So I just want to see a bit more. I just want to watch more. I just want an excuse to watch more. Give me more of him. Against Bama. Bang! Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I like him. He's good off the edge. He, he's a big boy. It walks away from it. It walks away from the chaos. Here he comes. Bang! Look at that. Getting a t-shirt with bang on it, by the way. You're welcome. You can you can wear that in public. Oh, break his arm, lad. Careful. Jesus. I mean, he just is nasty, isn't he? He plays with such a mean streak in his game. Click and close. Look at that. Sit down. <laughs> yeah. Take it back. I wish. I wish. We, I wish there was more tape on YouTube to watch because he is a mean, mean man. Look. Oh, see you later. Oh, yeah, he's fun. He is a fun player. Can be used in a multitude of ways. Oh, he's just hit his own teammate. He's that relentless. He's just pounded his own teammate and still brought down the LSU quarterback. Like, I don't know what more you want from him. He just has one speed, which is just that. <laughs> Get out. I don't care if you're in my way. Move. Unless you're number two and blocking me, in which case I'll likely tap you on the shoulder, but that's neither here nor there. See, that's how he's spy. Little bit of depth. Then come down if you need to. He's not just wobbling around aimlessly like a kid in a, you know, you know when you go to like a play area, like a what, a soft play area with your parents and you get a bit lost? That's what he looks like. Um, What's his face? Jeremiah Trotter. Not this fella. Not Edgerin Cooper. Not this man. He looks like an absolute menace. Drop back, drop back, drop back. All right. For comparative purposes, I just want to see some Jeremiah Trotter film or uh, highlights. Like, we've seen the norm. What are the highlights, and are they any good? Well, he just got washed out there. Oh, it wasn't him. Was it? Was it him? 54. Okay. Swam through the play quite nice. That was all right. 
That was in the Duke game. Ah, oh, we didn't. We cut out too soon. Look, that's a shame. Or did we see that? I think we did see that. And the ACC Digital Network can fuck off as well because they're the ones that I spent about ten hours making a mock draft years ago on the PSN YouTube channel. It fried my MacBook with the graphics. It genuinely broke it. The screen started leaking, like bleeding and stuff, because I was rendering so many graphics that came in with names. And it got like 10k views and the ACC demonetized it for a three second clip. Absolute bums, a lot of them. Grow up. Um, meanwhile. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> That's not, even the highlights just aren't highlights. They're just average plays. Oh. <laughs> like, like it's, and you watch Edger and Cooper and it's thunderous and it's intense. And there's like raw nastiness. And this is just mid is the only word I've got. We're watching highlights. These are supposed to be the ones that blow you away. That was all right. I don't mind that. Yeah, oh, I put the hammer down and oh, he's, and now, oh, now he's passionate. He made a big play. Was it any good? That's the question. He's got to loop around the edge. It was all right. It was good. He's athletic. He's powerful. Whether he wants to use it or not is is an entirely different question. There he does. That was nice. It's more as a pass rusher. Has there been a highlighting coverage yet? Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, that was perfect. You couldn't ask for more than that. Uh, that as far as timing goes, you ain't gonna beat it. Um, that was so he can do it. It is there. It is there. It's just a bit, you know, shaky. Cooper kind of gives me green law vibes, but needs more tackling training. Yeah, I, I'm going to dock him a point. For t Did I do it already? No. You, you, can have a, you can lose a point. Half a point. Because he is still a good tackler, in my opinion. But, like, re realistically, what are we seeing on here that actually makes me want to spend a pick on him? Like, not... A lot. Like, I'll level with you. The Eagles have a linebacker that can do this. And his name's Nolan Smith. The Eagles have a linebacker that can come off the edge. And his name's Hassan Reddick. They don't need someone that is not overly great in coverage. And just plays a bit whimsically. But this is why I think highlights are misleading. Because here you are only seeing the high motor stuff. And if I was to only watch this, I'd be like, yeah, great on pass rush. And he's very fiery. And he puts a hammer down. And he's intense. And then you watch the actual games and you're like, Okay, so, he, so he's got it there. And if he was to ever harness that potential, genuinely might be the best linebacker of the three. But he isn't because he doesn't as of right now. So there's that, I suppose. Uh, Barnett played nasty. It makes me nervous. Fair enough. Uh, I can't, can't be mad at that. What up, no pro? Nice to see you, my friend. Uh, I like Trotter, but still think Wilson's going to be a better fit. I, yeah, I, I think Wilson and Cooper are the two. I think Cooper would be the better one of the two, um, just because he feels a bit more powerful. Like, Wilson's good, but he's quite light. Like, he's like if Devontae Smith was a linebacker, that is Peyton Wilson. And that works. That does work for him. But at the NFL level, when you're coming up you're against slot receivers, you can put you on the ground. Um, I don't know how sustainable it is. So that would be my, my lone concern with it. Um, imagine Trotter announces his son's name. That would be unreal. I mean, regardless of where he goes, I do wish him the best of success. Like, I never want to actively root against the player. And it, I, it's just, there's not enough. Because I'm having to view this through an Eagles lens. And the Eagles need a linebacker that can step in day one and be the guy. And Trot is going to take a couple years. And that's fine because you're a draft prospect. That's expected. But stick him somewhere like the Raiders, the Jaguars, the, the Giants, like mid franchises that can have that time away from the spotlight. And I think that he's going to develop. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if in five years, Trotter was the best linebacker of this draft class. But it also wouldn't surprise me if he flopped entirely. And the Eagles need that home run hit. And for me, it's Cooper or Wilson. So to refresh, we've done three players in the hour. Wilson, 45 and a half grade. Cooper, 46. And Trotter at 40. Um, we'll continue to build this out. Unfortunately, I do have to love you and leave you for now. But maybe I'll stream tomorrow night. Maybe I'll stream Sunday night. 
uh, and we'll get cooking. I think we can definitely take some, we'll do some longer ones. I'll be do like a two hour session maybe over the weekend. I might just do one Sunday. Uh, we, I'll do a stream Sunday. I don't know what time Sunday, but I'll, I'll do a stream Sunday and Monday treating you because I, I really enjoy this and I've missed doing this. Like, I love evaluating players. I love coming up with gradings um, and being able to share that process live with you. So you can be like, Liam, you're waffling this guy's class or Liam, you're waffling this guy's awful. I find really helpful. And because you can see what I'm looking for, you can tell me what you're looking at and what I might be missing, like with the spy instance earlier. And it's just really cool. So thank you all for hanging out tonight. Um, this has been really fun. I've enjoyed this. And I'll, I'll see you on Sunday, maybe even tomorrow night. I'll see how we go. So I'll see where the day takes me. But um, I shall keep you all posted. But thank you so much for hanging out. If you could leave a like on the stream, it would be amazing just in case this does get, you know, copyrighted because we are using player highlights and stuff. So if you could, it, it just does go a long way. But thank you for hanging out. We'll keep, keep building our database of players. I should have probably started this a little bit ago. Um, tits up, cheerio. Appreciate you, Matt. I hope you enjoy my awful spreadsheet. Thank you to, to Jackin, to Tom, to Matt. Uh, to Isaac, to No Pro, to Timor, 1HP, nice to see you. I think this might be your first time in the stream uh, that I've seen, so I appreciate your support. Thank you for coming in and talking ball with us. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Enjoy your weekend, guys. I hope you all have a, a smashing weekend, uh, and we'll break down some more players for you again soon. Go Birds. Where's the outro? See you later. Keep the ball.